Bob pushed me and just said, I think you need to, I think you need to draw the lines of connection to modern theologians, especially those in our circles, uh, more explicitly and let, pe let people see what's happened with the loss of these doctrines. And so this, this book um, that we're highlighting really was born out of a series of lectures that I gave at uh, the Southern California Reformed Baptist Pastors Conference in 2015. I gave five, five talks, I think, at that conference and then was encouraged uh, by Richard Barcellus, who had invited me to the conference to kind of get into literary form, get some footnotes in it, and put it out there for broader consumption. And the good people at Reformation Heritage Books, Jay Collier in particular, uh, were, were really keen to help with that and see it through the publication. So that's sort of the, the short story. I hadn't intended this book to be a kind of... Um, recapitulation of divine simplicity that once divine simplicity sort of gets down into the into the fibers of your theological you know nervous system it's it's hard not to sort of find yourself going back to it again and again so there's a fair bit of simplicity that that comes up in this book but also immutability as well as divine eternity uh, and and one chapter on the trinity and I, mm -hmm. I try to make the argument in the trinity chapter in particular that in fact, far from being a problem, the denial that God has parts, which is the doctrine of simplicity, the doctrine uh, that denies God has part, parts uh, in no way impugns or undermines the doctrine of the Trinity, because we never really believed, uh, when I say we, I mean Christians generally, right. or, or Orthodox Christians, we never believed that the Trinity was really a doctrine of tripartitism or that the persons were parts of the Godhead. So I wanted to make that explicit. And I wanted to make maybe even a, a stronger argument that not only is simplicity not a problem for the Trinity, but that, in fact, without a doctrine of simplicity, it becomes very difficult to really maintain a doctrine of the Trinity. Yeah. In fact, the Trinity needs simplicity Otherwise, tritheism would seem to be a better way to handle right. some of the biblical data. And it's and so simplicity really guards and animates the orthodoxy of the Trinity doctrine. Mm -hmm. 